Mm. I was just like a zombie. I was confused because it was just a new environment and normally I'm always used to being on my own and this and that. Then they just carry you like and dump you in camp. In my platoon. Mm. Ships we are sailing. <laughs> They were like, how many ships? Move Jesus out of this place. So did you know go spoil? So hello guys and welcome back to my channel. It's me, Uzo Wu Benita Chisum on your screen again. So I decided to make a video about my NYC experience in Nigeria since it's like I'm the only small youtuber that hasn't told my story if you are new to my channel welcome 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 please subscribe down here it's free of charge you are not collecting any money from you please like this video i know you are going to enjoy it this video is gonna be if you are a returning subscriber thank you for stopping by again god bless you for supporting me please try and watch this video even if you don't want it to the end watch at least 60 percent of the video thank you i'm begging <laughs> so let's get right into it so before i start this video if you are hearing any noise my window is open and there are people passing by this video is going to be divided into five parts introduction to nyc for people that don't know about nyc then my arrival at camp and my registration typical nyc camp routine that's number three competitions we had and lastly my social life in the camp so nyc is national youth service corps and graduates in nigeria that's people that went to university in nigeria you are required to serve your country so you go for your nyc it's a one year service where you are trained for three weeks in the camp and then you are deployed to different states in nigeria i think that's all about it so when you are done with school and your name is your senate list is out your name is out like you're a graduate your school sends your name to nysc and then they shortlist people that will go to camp i know so when your name is out you get all your documents and uh, start buying your things, you prepare, you get your box, buy some people to go, your whites, your things for survival generally. You cannot start listening to them, there are plenty. Then you travel to the states where you were posted to for the camp. After the three weeks camping, you go to your various PPA, the primary place of assignments to go and work for the remaining 11 months then you pass out that's it but today i'm going to just be talking about my camp experience because if i want to talk about the whole nyc one year this video is going to reach 50 hours yeah that's that about that let's start from the beginning when my name came out i was nowhere at the time i was posted to nasara state i was in batch c stream 2 yeah so i served in 2019 batch c stream 2 please if you are one of our genge like this in the comment section so um our names came out we're happy they shopping buying planning and everything many of my girlfriends at the time were posted to other states one was supposed to matter with me one was posted to Undo, one was posted to Joss, one was posted to Kanu, and some other states that I can't really remember. So after the whole buying and everything, we entered bus and we started going to a uh, location. So uh, I got to Nasarawa around 11 in the morning, I remember because it was a long journey. So I stopped at Abuja the following morning and continued to Nasarawa. So I got to Nasarawa camp kefi what's going on with our camp game dan magaji and something like that i'll write the name screen so i got there at 11 in the morning when i got there i saw my girlfriend that was posted to nasara with me because she left the day before so she helped me took my bags i went to drop my bags in one of the um, female hostels there then she took me to where i would do the registration fortunately camp number was given yes what they call they were giving a number tag so the end of the number like um, my number ended with five so automatically 
I was in plateau 5. So we did our registration, um, submitted all our documents. If you see documents I took to camp, man. Ha! We we're printing and photocopying and printing and photocopying and printing and photocopying documents. Oh. Ah! Jesus. Documents full everywhere. So I submitted all the documents that I was supposed to submit. Went through all the screening, they checked my medical report, I was okay. Then I proceeded to my platoon and I was given my NYSE clothes. That's normal white and white with boots, khaki, NYSE shirt, the cap and some other things socks too yeah i was giving although we already bought most of all those things plenty because nobody told us when, when in any list we just see online buy this buy this one anything we just see buy this buy this i think that is something that happens to most people you know me at that time i didn't really know who to ask so i was just buying and most of the things i bought i didn't even use them so we're giving our stuffs and then i went to my room to freshen up and get ready for I think evening parade. The typical camp routine is soldiers will blow the trumpet. No, the bigu. Yeah, they call it bigu. The soldiers will blow the bigu by I think five or five twenty for you to come out for assembly. But before then, by three o'clock in the morning, three a.m., you are supposed to be awake because you take your bath. And get ready. So people don't take their bath. They just wake up around that five and go for the assembly. Then maybe during breakfast time, after eating, they will take their bath. But me, around three, sometimes two thirty-three, I wake up. We're plenty in the hostel. Then we go and take our bath. That that chill, hamatan morning. Imagine during that November, no December period. That was when I went to camp. You see that hamatan that we see in Lagos. Or in the east. That one is not Amatano. Amatano in the north is fire. Ha! That's how your teeth, that's how your teeth will be chattering. So even in that Hamatan, me and some other girls, we go and take our bath then. We are white, prepare. In our own camp in Kefi then, in Nasara, we are not allowed to wear sweater. That's the sweater you brought. You no, know, maybe some other camp like Joe's that is cold that they allow that. But in our own camp, we're not allowed. So we're just allowed to wear your khaki jackets. Even if it be the cold and the hammer pan, everything. So we wear our khaki jackets to the assembly ground. Then from that 5 o'clock to 7 or 7.30, you do your praise and worship, and prayers, announcements. After that, people that join manual will go and do their manual training exercise. Then we, that manual did not accept. Our platoon officers will train us that morning, just small training and exercise in the morning. Then from 7.30 to I think 9 o'clock is breakfast time. So that's when people rush their food, um, go and take their bath, we take your bath in the morning. Let I forget, we had new tickets, they gave us new tickets. So without your new ticket, if you, if you lose your new ticket, you won't be able to get food in the camp. So you have a new ticket in the morning. You go there, you take money and you have your meal. Unless you don't want to eat camp food, most of the time when they shared some kind of daily cases, I did not understand. All their swallow and beans, I did not eat. Nah, I did eat. Those times, I would go to mommy to eat. Some people did not even mark their meal tickets. Mommy all the way, but man, mm -mm. I had to be saving my money. I didn't come to camp to come and be wasting money. So if it was something I would be able to digest, I would. If it was something I wasn't able to digest, mommy straight. Then from nine o'clock to two o'clock, we had lectures. Sai, that's skill acquisition, and oh, that's from nine o'clock to two. See, that's Sai period. It was just sleep upon sleep. See, if you slept during Sai, you are like this in the comment section. Then from two o'clock to I think three thirty four was lunch break. So people that want to eat, people that didn't take their baths in the morning time. Some people, because I think that the break was a bit long, like an hour or two thereabouts. So at that point, you do whatever you want to do. Then from four o'clock to six o'clock was evening parade. So that parade we practiced for both swearing in and both our parade, platoon parade competition. Then after parade, from I think six o'clock or six thirty to eight o'clock 
was dinner that's when we eat our dinner then from 8 to 10 at that point when you think you're supposed to sleep like 8 o'clock no <laughs> Anyway, I still not like to sleep. From 8 o'clock to 10 o'clock was what they call social activity. See, at that point, eh, that first day, I was angry. I'm like, I'm supposed to be sleeping. And the social activity is by force. In fact, everything in camp then was by force. So you force yourself with all that stress to the hall for maybe they want to do presentation, drama, or whatever. Even the NYSC. Um, his camp and all those things was in the hall, so that's the time we do all those socials. Then from 10 30, it's lights out. In camp, we had various competitions, we had various platoon competitions. At first, I didn't really blend, I didn't even know where my platoon people were till like second week or something. So when later when I found them out, that was when I started hearing that uh, we had competitions, there was volleyball competition, there was cooking competition, there was football competition, parade, and I think some other competition shall there was debate competition. So we were expected in our platoon to contribute money for one or two things. I can't remember. Then um, we we're also expected to like participate. So at that point, I tried volleyball. Yeah, I played volleyball with my platoon girls. I also participated in cooking in the food competition, platoon food competition, where our platoon won. Our platoon won. <laughs> platoon five, see. Nasarawa Coppers, but C Stream 2. <laughs> platoon five. Do like this in the comment section, I beg. Because I know that yeah, people are going to see this video. So yeah, we won, we won debates, we won food competition, I think we won football, I can't really remember. Then another activity I was obsessed with was parade. I loved parade. Anywhere they are doing parade, you will see me in front. I participated in parade. Like, oh my god. <laughs> people were really running away from me, but under the sun, under the rain, parade. I was in the first row. I was marching. That was where I even met some some of the friends I had today. Platoon officer became my friend from there. Even the of the men who were so passionate about the whole thing. That's people that loved parade. We came fifth place in parade, although it was okay the competition was that then overall my platoon came fifth place ha <sighs> man this girl you are seeing here is a lunar like my social life is very poor very very poor oh my god there are some decisions i made in camp that i regret till today if I come in my next life, I will change. But before I continue, those of you that said camp was sweet <laughs> and camp was fun and this and that, it was all a lie. It was all a lie. Guys, it was all a lie. She lied. It was all a serious lie. First of all, I am an introvert, a bad one. I don't know how to socialize. I don't know, I don't know how to talk to people. I'm always in my space. So when I got to camp, it was like it was just to expose like i didn't have personal space everything was just in the outside everything was just open and so many things were happening at the same time you didn't really know how to vibe and follow the whole trend and everything normally when i wake up in the morning i would just bath go go to the assembly ground do one or two of the exercises come back eat i didn't really have people i was talking to at that time eat go back for sai even when people were going to mommy i was always in my that you see that afternoon period that we had up to like an hour and 30 minutes or two hours break after i finished eating i would just go and sleep then wake up evening party that was my life people were going to mommy people were meeting people people were talking benita was just existing and sleeping <laughs> <laughs> I was just existing and sleeping for one good week. It was bad. Then okay, the second week that was when I I started meeting my platoon people. So I met Shoma and Nelly. I think they were Sha. They had one or two positions. Shoma was VC and Nelly was I think director of social. I can't really remember. And they were like, uh, uh are you in our platoon? 
wow, we've not been seeing you. Where well, come now? Come and join. You know all those kind of things. So it was even through them, I was, and I said, no, what was happening. <laughs> I was not even, I was just existing. It was because of them, and I, okay, I'm like, let me just do one or two in the platoon, contribute this and that. So in the competition, then I now started trying to talk to one or two people, of which it's not like we became tight friends. I know I was just talking. Life was frustrating, like we were in a box. I don't know if some people enjoyed it too. I did not. My life was scheduled from this time to this time. We are doing this from this time. It was frustrating. You can't even do something that you want to do. Ah, it was it was just like living in bondage. Then um mommy, for people that went to mommy, I just I used to branch there once they wanted to buy things, you see people, you know, cuddling up, girlfriend and boyfriend going out buying things. Some people had camp boyfriends just to, you know, you understand. In the nights during dinner, that's when my people used to make money very well. That's when our go to go boyfriend and get ready, go there to, you know, enjoy their lives. You see guys, you know, drinking. And I don't even know the kind of life I was living in camp. I don't just know. I was just like a zombie. I was confused. Because it was just a new environment and normally I'm always used to being on my own and this and that then you just carry the hand, dump you in camp. Then um normally now girls life this and that my hostel they were noisemakers, they were fights, people fought, people stole people's things. Was, I think that was when iPhone 11 Pro came out. They were stealing, oh my god, they were just stealing people's things, you know. I had fun bedmates, there was Priye, I think one girl, I forgot her name, I think her name was Uchi or so, then Tina or Tena, I don't really know the pronunciation of her name, but if I was to come back in my next life, I would try to be more socially calm. I try to meet people, try to make friends. I don't understand what I did. Did I enjoy my camp experience? I don't know. I don't know. Well, um, yeah, I will forgot. That was the truth. My platoon. Mm. Ships we are sailing. <laughs> they were like, how many ships? People were falling in ships, and me, I was sailing alone to God be the glory. Because normally after camp, so those ships capsize. <laughs> then by the third week, I think that's when I started enjoying camp. I started talking to more people. We had a carnival. That was the only day we were allowed to wear mufti. Apart from Sunday, in camp, we just partied and enjoyed ourselves. Then the last days, the whole rules were being lenient a bit so someone had to even say goodbye because i now go used to some people i think the final day or so our ppa postings came out then we boarded our bus and left camp i made good friends one of my closest friends from camp jasmine cruz Shoma, Nelly, Jessica, and Afolabi. Afolabi was not a copper, he was a soldier, but he became a very good friend of mine. Jamu too became a very good friend of mine. So yeah, <laughs> that camp experience. Anyways, do you know the funniest part? It was even hard for me to take pictures. Man, I was cool. I was, man. <laughs> I didn't take pictures, I didn't really do plenty of videos. I was just living and existing and waiting for the whole captain to finish so that I can go home and have myself all to myself. But the few ones I took, I'll just share it so that you guys can see. So that was my NYC camp experience. If you want me to do a part two on um, the main experience i will but if not no Allah. thank you for watching this video thank you for supporting me thank you for everything please share this video like the video comment all these things help my youtube channel and i'll see you in my next video